Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're getting some exclusive early access footage to Hollywood Heights, a map available in Battlefield Hardline. This footage came from an EA press event and some of it's mine, some of it belongs to Spartan 117 GW who was kind enough to loan it to me. Now Hollywood Heights takes place in the Hollywood Hills and the robbers have actually set a fire to try and distract the police while they carry out a high stakes heist. The map does actually take place at night, but it's by no means what I would call a dark map. It's very well lit, very easy to see things, and from the balcony of some of the bigger mansions you can look down over the entire city of LA. It's actually quite a good looking map. When played on some of the larger game modes, you will get access to an executive helicopter that spawns in the center of the map on one of the mansion's helicopter pads. In total, there's four large structures, all kind of separated by their own little walls, so you can have your own individual firefights in different locations around the map. The central structure is a large mansion and it actually has a very cool Levolution event associated with it. The mansion itself can kind of crumble down and cascade down the side of the mountain a bit, but uh, unfortunately I didn't capture this in action, I just saw the before and after results. Now within a lot of the buildings as you can see here, there's quite a lot of destruction. You can blow through tons and tons of different walls within these buildings. There's lots of cool fancy glass railings and stuff like that that you can bash through and break open with sledgehammers and stuff like that. Um, it actually feels pretty darn cool in terms of the amount of destruction. There's also a lot of opportunities to make use of the zip line in this map, especially in Blood Money. If you can get up on top of the roof of the central mansion, you can actually zip line almost all the way to your loot drop off point. This is a bit different than say the Blood Money that we played on downtown where you are a little bit more limited. So it's going to be interesting to see the, how useful zip line is in some of these other maps. Now in all the different game modes we played, I didn't notice any heavily armored vehicle so this is definitely a map that focuses more on infantry combat it's not to say though that it's extremely close quarters all the time there's quite a bit of distance between the different mansions so you can actually make use of some of the transport vans and stuff like that you're probably just not going to get quite as many road kills because the vans are very limited in where they can go it really is just from getting down one street to the next so you can drop off your payload or capture an objective playing heist game mode on this map turned out to be surprisingly fun there was a a small vault in the big mansion that you have to break into and then you have to get that uh, stack of cash out to one of the drop-off points which can switch around the map and it's kind of cool how the different mansions become the drop-off points or the getaway points for the helicopter that comes in uh, it's a little bit more linear in terms of like where you can go you know it's usually just like one main road to a new mansion and a few little off-roads here and there and this really sets the gameplay up for some good ambush points it's a little darker so it feels cooler when you're ambushing somebody coming down one of these dark dirt paths between mansions or something like that or it's a good place to try and set up some barricades to stop one of their utility trucks trying to bash through and get to the uh, getaway point. Now if you're one of those battlefield players who really really likes those infantry intense maps this is probably going to be one of your favorite maps and I do say one of your favorites because one of the other maps I want to talk about is called the block and that'll be in a video hopefully later today it'll at least be on my channel at some point in the near future so keep your eyes peeled for that it's an even more infantry intensive map than this one and it's pretty awesome it has massive levels of destruction but that's again for another video now something that's really cool about the design of this map is that it offers plenty of extremely close quarter infantry combat but at the same time it allows you to actually set up in some pretty decent sniper locations get a lot of good medium range gameplay so there's a lot of ways to play this map if you want to run with some extremely powerful PDWs like the engineers K10 then you can and you can be extremely effective you can also run a shotgun on this map if you want to the little dirt paths around the map allow you to kind of take the close quarter paths to get around the map. If you want to use something a little bit more medium to long range, then you can run on the main streets throughout the map. And I really like this. It's definitely done intentionally to give you a good variety of gameplay and allow you to use whatever class or weapon setup that you should choose. If you want to play close quarters, you can do that. If you want to play long range, you can do that. In Battlefield 4, I felt much more relegated to certain classes based on the map that we were playing. In this, it feels like you can really just kind of go with what you want and you just play the map a little bit differently depending on which class you take. And I'm really seeing that as a trend throughout the rest of the hardline maps. Now because I was playing on PS4, unfortunately I wasn't able to 
to really make too many notes on terms of things like weapon damage model and accuracy. I was mostly just concerned with my ability to actually hit my opponent, so I wasn't paying as much attention to the finite feel of the game. So I can't really comment too much on any updates that were made in that regards. It's mostly just sort of the new maps that we played. We didn't really get to see any of the premium features either. That would have been something really cool to show you guys, but unfortunately I never got access to that. So we'll just have to wait and see when the game launches. Now this clip here shows you a great scene of that LA backdrop at night, which I think looks really, really phenomenal on this map. And I just love how many maps are actually taking place in the greater LA area. Living here, it's kind of cool to see a lot of familiar territory. Now, of course, this is something that I'm very partial to living in the area, but I imagine a lot of people will still recognize a lot of these locations from movies and stuff like that. Now, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to be able to get the Hollywood sign into this game. Obviously, that's a very, very iconic location. And I was talking to the developers about this, and of course, this had crossed their mind, but I think the licensing rights for the Hollywood sign were so high that they just decided to spend their budget elsewhere. But honestly, imagine the levolution potential with that. You could have had letters rolling down the hill. Would have been epic. I don't know. Maybe in a future expansion. Anyway, I hope this gave you guys a pretty good idea of what to expect from the new Hollywood Heights map. And stay tuned to the channel as I'm going to be showing off a lot of the other cool new maps that I was able to play at the press event. Also, I'm sure some of you guys are going to notice that my voice sounds a little bit different in this video. Just trying to get over a cold right now. Had it for several days. Uh, hopefully, it'll be better for hardline launch so I can really just go crazy on the game and not worry about my sleep schedule and getting enough rest. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.